Could it finally be happening? Well, a number of recent events suggest that it's more likely. Well, a number of recent events suggest that it's more likely to happen than ever. And in this video, I'm going to talk you through these tale-telling signs, as well as what clues Noel Gallagher's new album and single announcement tell us about a possible Oasis reunion. Fucking rap star, Manchester born and bred, evil mastermind songwriter, nah, nah, nah. brother of Parker Monkey, man of the people, Liam Gallagher has a new single out called Easy Now, which came out on the 17th of January of this year. This is the second single taken from Noel and his High Flying Birds' fourth studio album, Council Skies. Now, this new album comes at a pretty interesting time in the Liam Noel saga. At a time where, you know, Liam's doing pretty well for himself, he's absolutely flying with the solo projects, and he's selling out Nebworth. And Noel is somewhat struggling to match his brother's meteoric success, both on and off the stage, with some pretty shocking and surprising revelations about his personal life, which I'll talk about in just a second. But let's start off with Noel's brand new album, Council Skies, and what we can expect from it, because it's actually quite an interesting and unique album title and cover art. Now, Noel did say fairly recently when referencing the new album in an interview with Absolute Radio that this album very much documents his youth and his childhood. And I think the album's basically going to take us back in time into the young life of Noel Gallagher growing up on a council estate. We know that given all of Noel's success, he actually came from very humble beginnings, as did Liam. And given how the new singles have sounded, I think we're going to have a theme of reflection on this new album. And quite a few albums that have been released towards the back end of 2021 and the start of this year that were likely made in lockdown have all had this sort of retrospective, introspective theme. Arctic Monkey's new album, The Car, of course, being one of them. The new single, just released by Noel, called Easy Now, really did strike a chord with me. Pardon the pun. The lyrics on this one, when you start to read them and decode them, suggest to me anyway that Noel is yearning or reminiscing for a much simpler time. One that isn't filled with money, fame and lies. And one that takes him back maybe to all those years ago where he grew up on a council estate. I.e. when life was simpler. I mean, take the lyric, I'll wait for you, I swear, your destination comes without a fare. Could Noel be talking there about the unconditional love or reliance that you place upon your sibling? Or the fact that people who have less, maybe like the people that Noel knew in that council area, are just willing to give more. They're very giving people, unlike maybe those that do have wealth or astronomical amounts of wealth that Noel is probably surrounded by today. I.e. it's those kinds of people that are willing to give and not expect anything in return. The music video, which also has some creative input from his daughter, does a really good job of sort of visualising life in a council area. The song itself has a really interesting chord progression also, and it really feels to me anyway like a bit of a departure from the usual Noel Gallagher chord progression. I mean, we saw that quite a bit on his previous album, Who Built the Moon? He was kind of writing with loops and things like that instead of the usual chords that you'd expect and the usual sequences that you'd expect from a Noel song. And from the sounds of it, he's very much keeping on that same trajectory, that same path, here. And I'm actually getting Richard Hawley vibe, strangely, from this tune. I feel like it's very melancholic and nostalgic sounding, a bit like Richard's stuff. And the vocal melody that sits on top of these chords is also not really very Noel either, but in a good way, I kind of like it. But with most artists, you don't really start to think about somebody else singing their song straight away. But on this one, I can't help but think, what if Liam sang this one? I just want to hear Liam's voice on this song. I feel like it's a good song right now, but with Liam's voice, it would become a great song. Noel just isn't as strong a singer as Liam, although I do like Noel's voice on some songs, but on this one, I just think Liam would have elevated it to the next level. Side note, just while I'm shooting this, I have seen that the one and only Johnny Marr has been working with Noel in the studio, so I'm wondering if the guitar solo is actually played by Johnny Marr and not Noel Gallagher. Interestingly, it doesn't really sound like a traditional Noel or a Johnny Marr type thing, but given Johnny Marr's versatility with the kind of, you know, guitar riffs and things like that that he's written with the Cribs and Modest Mouse, I wouldn't be surprised if it was Johnny's creation on this one. 
I mean, it doesn't really sound like something that Noel would traditionally do, but then again, I don't think Noel is going for traditional Noel. I think Noel is going for who built the moon kind of Noel. Okay, so what does all of this have to do about the Oasis reunion? An interesting point here. Most musicians would say that their best work has come from a time in their life where they've experienced some sort of struggle or hardship or heartbreak. Now, Noel Gallagher, for the most part, since Oasis broke up all the way back in 2009, looked to be having quite a comfortable and stable life, both on stage and off stage. Now, we know that for music makers, what's going on in their personal lives is intrinsic to the art that they produce. And let's just say, in my opinion anyway, since Oasis broke up in 2009, a lot of the music that Noel has produced and released hasn't been at that level. But fast forward to the present day and there has been some fairly shocking and surprising news that Noel Gallagher and his wife of 12 years, Sarah McDonald, will be separating. Obviously not nice news and not something I ever saw coming, given that Noel has spoken very fondly and respectfully of her in many, many interviews in the past couple of years. But it does make you think, will we see a different Noel Gallagher on this record to the one that we've seen on past High Flying Birds records post Oasis? Maybe a more humble Noel Gallagher, free of ego, that's eager to mend broken relationships. After all, when you lose everything or have a difficult moment in your life, who do you turn to? It's usually your family. Now, interestingly, all the way back in 2009, Liam actually publicly blamed the breakup of Oasis on Noel's wife, Sarah. And let's just say that their feud was very, very public. Now, I don't want to get ahead of myself here, but if there was ever an inkling that an Oasis reunion would be possible, I think it's now. Not to mention that both Noel and Liam have been fairly active on Twitter and they're cooking up a bit of a storm. Liam also fairly recently tweeted that Noel's been phoning him up, begging him for forgiveness. And Noel has also told the BBC in a fairly recent interview that he'll never say never to an Oasis reunion. And that himself and Liam are actually on good terms at the moment, for the first time in many, many years. And when you put two and two together, one being the divorce and perhaps rekindling of the relationship with he has, with he has? with he has, one being the divorce and perhaps rekindling simultaneously of the relationship that he had with his long lost brother Liam, and two, what looks to be a fairly retrospective and backwards looking album Council Skies, it does make you think, is Noel reminiscing about the good old days and the time that he had with Liam in Oasis? And could this eventually lead to the right conditions for the Gallagher brothers to reform Oasis? Leave a comment down below guys and let me know what you think. Now obviously I realise that this video is maybe a little bit too soon given the fairly recent and sad news about Noel's family, but the what if factor is just too exciting not to call out. I mean, you know what they say right, musicians often make their best music when they're going through difficult situations like a breakup and who knows, maybe Noel will produce some of his best ever music on this new album, Council Skies. So there we go, new music from Noel Gallagher that doesn't really sound like music from Noel Gallagher, and several bits of news that suggest an Oasis reunion might be on the cards after all. I do hope you enjoyed the video, subscribe if you haven't already, and let me know in the comments below if you are enjoying the Oasis content and coverage I'm barely scratching the surface right now of everything that I could talk about, so do let me know if you want me to dive deeper. And if you are interested in watching more videos about the Gallagher Brothers, or indeed some other big indie rock bands, then here are a few links to some videos you should watch next. As always, thank you for watching, and I will see you in the next one.